Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. So now I'm going to continue to explain to you about the contract revenue recognition. This is based on MFRS 15. That is revenue from contract with customers. You can further, you can download this from the internet and read further to increase your understanding on this. So basically, the M uh, FRS specifies that an entity or the contractor transfers control of a good or services over time and hence satisfy a performance obligation and recognizes revenue over time if one of the following criteria is met. So what are they? If the customer simultaneously, uh, simultaneously receives and consumes the benefit provided by the entity's performance as the entity performs, or the entity performance creates or enhances an asset that a customer controls, the asset is created or enhanced, or the entity's performance does not create an asset with an alternative use to the entity and the entity has an enforceable right to payment for a performance completed to date. So for each performance obligation satisfied over time, so an entity recognizes revenue over time by measuring progress towards complete satisfaction of the performance obligation. Therefore, the entity needs to measure the stage of completion for a performance obligation that is satisfied over time. This is basically saying that you can recognize your revenue over time. As I said earlier, you have normally for a contract to complete, it takes more than one accounting period. So should you wait until the end of the project to complete, then only you recognize the revenue. No, you can recognize the revenue on it over time. Okay, and then that depends on the stage of the completion. So how are you going to calculate how or how are you going to determine the stage of completion? This one you need to depend you need to you, be, you need to determine the stage of completion. Uh, basically there are two methods to determine the percentage or the stage of completion. One is known as the input method, the other one is the output method. Or input method is also known as the cost basis or the other one is based on the survey of work performed. So I repeat, there are two methods to determine the percentage of completion. The percentage of completion, one is the cost basis or input basis. The other one is survey of work performed or the output basis. Now I'm going to explain to you how to calculate based on these two methods. Let's look at the first one that is the input method. Okay, or the cost basis. So the proportion of contract costs incurred for the work performed to date to estimate the total contract cost. How are you going to calculate it? This is the formula. You want to determine how much is the percentage of completion and the cost basis is cost of work done to date divided by your estimated total contract cost. If you are doing based on the output method or based on the surveys of work performed, then you will take the percentage of completion as the value of work certified divided by the total contract price. So I know you are now you 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 come across all these jargons, but I just try I I'll try to explain it to you in a simpler form. Okay, if you want to identify how much is the contract revenue recognized just now, that will be based on the percentage of completion times with the contract price. Let's look for uh, an example. Okay, let's say uh, the contract price is 10 million. So you have a project, the contract price, that means to, uh, the price of the project or the contract price is 10 million. Next, you have prepared the account. And based on the uh, accounts that you have prepared, you identify uh, that the cost of work done to date is 2.5 million. Okay, the cost of work done to date is 2.5 million. And then you estimate the future cost, that means to complete the project further or to complete the contract further, you need to incur another 3.2 million. Up to now, the value of work that has been certified by the surveyor is 3.5 million. If, let's say, the company measures the percentage of completion using the input method. Now, if you want to calculate using the input method, that is method number one, that will, you are required to determine the revenue for the uh, contract. So, that will be for method number one, that is the cost basis or input basis, you need to take the cost of work done today divided by the estimated total contract cost. So, cost of work done today is already given to you in the question. And then, you need to determine the estimated total contract cost. 
So estimated total contract cost will be the cost of work done to date plus the estimated future cost. So in this case, cost of work done to date is 2.5 million and your estimated future cost is 3.2 million. So that gives you a total of 5.7 million. If you want to calculate the percentage of completion using the input method, that will be cost of work done to date, that is 2.5 million divided by your 5.7 million. You round, off, uh, you round off the number, you will get 44%. So 44% is the percentage of completion. If you want to determine how much is the contract revenue to be recognized, that will be 44% times with the contract Price and your contract price is 10 million. So that will be 44% times the 10 million, you will get 4.4. So 4.4 million is your contract revenue recognized. Okay, that is for your first method. If let's say you are using the second method, second method is the survey of work performed or the output method, then the percentage of completion will be the value of work certified divided by the total contract price. Given in the question, the value of work certified is 3.5 uh, million and the contract price is 10 uh, mil, million. So you will get uh, this one percentage of completion as 35%. And if you are taking the, uh, you want to determine the contract revenue, so the contract revenue recognized will be 35% times the 10 million that will be 3.5 million that is the total uh, the contract revenue recognized if you are using method number two okay hopefully you understand this but uh, you understand this okay now uh, just to sum it up okay just to provide you with a recap or summary on this what i've explained to you about the uh, uh, percentage of completion okay i'll just uh, draw up uh, pictorial uh, representation so that you can understand this better okay if you are using if you are using a cost method uh, or the input basis just now so the first method just look on this one okay on the left hand side if you are using the ma uh, method number one that is the input or cost basis okay cost basis you are looking at the ratio or the proportion you are making this building you are making this building let's say a five-story building and up to now up to today you have already completed the fourth story you have completed up to the fourth story so i uh, from one until four this one okay that will be cost of work done to date all the costs that you have incurred so far so this one will be cost of work done to date i number it as number one and then you estimate that later on in the future you're going to incur further costs you're going to incur further costs that is my number two so my number two is known as the estimated future cost that is the estimated future cost so if i say total contract cost total means you, uh, until the project if until uh, when the project has finished then how much is your total cost so that is known as the estimated total contract cost so the cost of this will be cost that you have incurred so far that is my number one or the term that we use is cost of work done to date plus the estimated future cost that is my number two here so, 1 plus 2 will give you this one, uh, 3 that is the estimated total contract cost. So, if you are using the cost basis just now, cost basis or the percentage of completion using the input method, that will be you are looking at the ratio of cost of work done to date to the estimated total contract cost. That means you are looking at the ratio of 1 here to 3, ratio of 1 to all the cost. So, that is the cost basis the second one you are using the the second method is you are using the survey of work perform or you are using the output method here you are looking at the value this one you look at the cost here you look at the value value means you if that item were to be sold how much is the value if you are looking at the cost how much is your input how much is the cost for that particular product okay now if you are looking at the value so value you are looking at now how much is the value if this is the cost that you have incurred how much if you were if you were to so if you were to sell this product 
okay if you was to sell you know this uh, uh up to now up to fourth story how much is the value so that is known as item number four that i identify here that is the value of work certified and you are looking at the ratio of the value of work certified in relation to the total contract price if this uh, project or this contract completed how much is the contract price okay so you are looking at the ratio of four to my five so that is you are looking at the value okay uh, just to is how uh, for, uh, just to help you out on how to remember the formula this is to calculate the percentage of completion okay uh, terms basically uh, normal terms when you sell a product you will say a sales or revenue less your cost you will get profit if it is a positive it is you get a negative figure that will be a loss so sales minus cost give you profit but for a contract instead of you use the word sales or revenue you was you use the term as contract revenue instead of using the word cost you are using the word cost of work done to date and then instead of using the word profit you use that you use it as a contract uh, rec sorry con uh, recognize profit Okay, so hopefully you understand on how to calculate the uh, percentage of completion. This percentage of completion, where are you going to use it? This one, you're going to use it in your account just now. Previously, I've already explained to you about the uh, cost of work done to date. This one is for you to calculate the recognized profit. This one, the contract revenue, the second part of your account. Okay, that is being used. So you, you might wonder where are you going to use the percentage of completion. So that percentage of completion is basically to identify this figure. You already have, you know the cost. Next, you need to work out how much is your contract revenue. And then you can, if you know two, two items here, then you can determine how much is the profit that you recognize for that particular period. Okay, with that, I thank you.